welcome to you once again in the department of english rbnb college sri rampur and you are going to watch a interesting video based on a short story prescribed at fyba compulsory english the first story of your syllabus and the title of this story is the engine trouble written by indian novelist and short story writer ak narayan the here is the lesson plan for you i uh, present this video into two parts and this is the first part of it of the engine trouble and this is the lesson plan the first point that is about life and work of r k narayan the second is introduction of the story in it we are going to study the setting of this story the protagonist of the story the source of the story and the narrative technique used in the story the third point is the gate land the fourth point is whether the narrator who is the talkative man is a lucky or unlucky winner of the prize and the last part is the road engine because the title is engine trouble so the road engine becomes a bone in a throat in hindi we called it as gale ki haddi banna okay now let us have to start with the first point that is life and work of r k narayan so the full name of r k narayan is rasipuram krishna swami ayer narayan swami he was born on 10th of october 1906 and he was passed away on 13th of may 2001 so in short we can say he has got a very long span of life and within this long span of life he enriched english literature especially indian english literature so he is arke narayan is one of the leading novelist of early indian english literature and they he enriched indian english literature with mulk rajanand and raja ram now uh, he is best known for his collection of stories that is malgudi days and number of his novels which are so popular uh, over all the world so here i would like to give you few examples of it the first is he starts the first novel r k narayan written that is swami and friends the second one is the bachelor of arts the third one is the dark room the fourth one is the english teacher the fifth one is mr sampa the sixth one is the financial expert the seventh one is waiting for mahatma the eighth one is very popular novel named the guide which is filmed in hindi the next one is the man eater of malgudi the next one is the vendor of uh, sweets the painter of signs a tiger of malgudi talkative man the world of nagraj and the grandmother's tale so this is a very long list we say 
okay so he is a master of words he is a magician of words he paints a real picture in front of the readers eyes and that is why his work is translated into several indian and european languages when we study all of his work not only stories but the novels even also that we notice this thing graham green the famous english novelist was his mentor when we, we compared the way of writing his a uh, novel he is very close to english novelist named as william faulkner when we read his short stories we notice one thing that his technique is very close to gd manu passant the famous english short story writer now such is, here is the work of work and style of rk narayan as far as the honors and awards he got in his life among them ac benson's medal which was given by royal society of literature this is one of the important honor he has got in his life he was also awarded with padma bhushan and padma vibhushan that is the second and the third highest civilian awards in india he was also nominated for rajya sabha the upper house of indian indian parliament from 12th of may 1986 to 11th of may 1992 so uh, you know this thing that uh, the president of india uh, has a right to appoint to nominate the people from the different fields perhaps you heard the name of sachin tendulkar lata mangeshkar they were also nominated by the president on uh, rajya sabha so such is the important figure you are going to study such is the important short story writer you are going to study now here the uh, the first part is over now let us have to start with the second part of this uh, of this story that is introduction of this story first let us see what is the source of this story from where the story is taken actually these stories are filmed even also and on television a series uh, perhaps you might have uh, watched certain episodes of malgudi days on a small screen or television screen so this story is also taken from his famous short story collection entitled as malgudi days the second one is the narration that who tells this story to us not writer not rk narayan but a character the central character the main character or we can say uh, the protagonist protagonist means hero central character main character he tells this story okay so this is the uh, narrative technique that means third person narration narrative technique is used in this story now setting what is this setting setting means where the story takes place where the story happens and if we read uh, the story you will notice this thing that the story happens or takes place in the imaginative town so it is the creation of writer creation of rk narayan it is a imaginary um, um, town a small small town uh, we, we can say 
सो और सेमी अर्बन टाउन से सो इट इज अ सेमी अर्बन टाउन नेम एज मालगुड़ी एक्चुअली देर इज नो प्लेस लाइक मालगुड़ी इट इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर एंड नंबर ऑफ हिस्स स्टोरीज टेक्स प्लेस इन मालगुड़ी सो द सेटिंग ऑफ दिस स्टोरी इज द मालगुड़ी द फेमस इमेजिनरी सेमी अर्बन टाउन ऑफ आर के नारायण ना द टाइम that is when the story takes place take place so here you can add a word time so when the story takes place which time is selected for this story and the time selected for this story is a fair f f a i r so in the contemporary society there were very limited sources of enjoyment so the fairs festivals the people enjoyed the this time because the harvest is over we have ram navmi we have mahashivratri people gather together and they celebrate celebrate uh, this celebration sometime goes on 8 days 10 days 15 days so it is known as fair so the time uh, sets here for this story is a fair time the harvest is over what is harvest that the work in the farm is over and the farmers are now uh, free mindedly uh, they can participate in this fair okay now the last one is that is the protagonist and who is the protagonist as earlier i said that protagonist means hero main character our central character of the story and here as far as this story is concerned the protagonist of the story is a talkative man the name is not given by the short story writer r k narayan he called him a talkative man okay now uh, what is the story is about that is uh, we see the title of the story the engine trouble the title reflects what is the theme of the uh, story we can say so this engine is a headache is a problem is a source of problem for the narrator or target target you man how the road engine comes to him the story des describes it and the road engine becomes or affects the personal as well as social life of this talkative man it is described in this story or in short we can say it is a hilarious series of misfortune in the life of the narrator the protagonist or the talkative man in this story so this road engine becomes a double edged sword for uh, for him and the novel the story opens with flashback technique so there are two types of uh, techniques generally used in the story flashback and flash forward means when we say once upon a time it means the narrator goes in the past and this technique is known as one's a uh, flashback technique when you start to read the story you will notice this thing that the hero of this novel the uh, sorry hero of this story or the protagonist of the story some he uh, some people gathered around him and he talks with them because he is a talkative man when he starts uh, there, there comes the subject of uh, uh, lotteries and fair and then he remembered the incident happened in his uh, life and he tells the story to the uh, members present in front of him so the uh, story starts uh, with the flashback technique and in this flashback technique he says to him that once upon a time i also won uh, 
రోడ్ ఇంజిన్ ఇన్ ద లాటరీ అండ్ హౌ ద రోడ్ ఇంజిన్ బికమ్స్ ద బోన్ ఇన్ హిస్ థ్రోట్ హీ నారేట్ ఇస్ ద హోల్ స్టోరీ నౌ లెట్ ఇస్ హ్యావ్ టు సీ ద స్టోరీ నౌ హీ ద టాకేటివ్ మ్యాన్ సీస్ వన్స్ అ పాన్ ఎ టైమ్ మై స్టోరీ ఈజ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద జిమ్ ఖానా గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద జిమ్ ఖానా గ్రౌండ్ the showman different types of show uh, comes at the time of uh, festivals just like we have merry go round okay or uh, doom of death etc different types of uh, uh, we can say the entertainments uh, the shops of entertainment uh, um, comes in the uh, fair or festival and people enjoy it the same was happened here he says once upon a time he is going to tell the story about the gaiety land which was the institution of a showman what is this gaiety land suppose you might have seen in the festivals so here is suppose the ground and this place this is a public ground of that village of that town or we can uh, semi urban town so this is known as jimkhana ground this ground is known as jimkhana uh, uh, ground okay jimkhana ground because the ground belongs to municipality and the municipality we have also number of grounds in our own uh, uh, towns even also they are named somebody's name is given to or some name is given to that ground and this ground is known as jimkhana ground it is a open space so naturally the festi- uh, the uh, gaiety land so what is this gaiety land you see uh, on the here you have different you have different shops you have to enter through this gate and you can visit every shop and enjoy yourself so this is just like the uh, rk narayan say this is just like the institution of a showman and here on the, at the time of festival at the time of fair there comes gate gate land uh, in this uh, um, uh, in this malgudi on jimkhana ground then he gives very minute minute details of that day what was happened with him and he says it was a uh, time at the time of night the ground litters with banners and uh, steamers and flags and decorative lamps you might have seen such a type of picture even uh, you noticed it at the when you see the tent of the circus it is the certain flags are there it is decorated lighted uh, 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 lamp lamps are there that is color lamps are there etc so the place is decorated why this is decorated to attract the attention of the people so that the people should visit uh, this land this gaiety land and the owner owner of it or the showman should be benefited from it so this is natural we can say uh t- t- tendency of this uh, showman to attract the attention of the people and this talkative man this na- narrator tells us at the time of night the whole ground that is jimkhana ground litters with okay so this is a uh, jimkhana ground it litters with what what is litters that means shines with because there are colored lamps there are flags there are different types of deco- decoration is there there are different banners to make the advertisement so the picture was quite uh, attract attractive and the crowds poured into the uh, fa- into the show from all over the district in short we can say malgudi is though it is imaginative place malgudi is or malgudi's fair malgudi's festival is so famous in that area and so people from the other corners of the same district they poured p o u r that means there was a huge crowd number of people visit 
दिस जिमखाना ग्राउंड टू एंजॉय देम सेल्स ओके सो आर के नारायण सेस द क्राउड्स ही नेवर यूज द वर्ल्ड पीपल सो क्राउड पोर इन टू द इन टू द शो फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड दे नेवर हेजिटेट टू स्पेंड मनी ऑन इट बिकॉज दे वुड लाइक टू एंजॉय द एंजॉय दिस फेस्टिवल एंजॉय दिस फेयर दो सो दे नेवर हेजिटेट वट इज हेजिटेट हेजिटेट मीन्स से नो ओके दे नेवर हेजिटेट दे नेवर से नो टू विजिट दिस जिमखाना ग्राउंड टू एंजॉय एंजॉय दम सेल्स इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से द मूड ऑफ द कस्टमर द मूड ऑफ द क्राउड द मूड ऑफ द पीपल मेक्स द प्रोपाइटर प्रॉस्परस और रिच बिकॉज क्राउड स्पेंड्स मनी एंड द ओनर वी कैन से गेन मनी सो दिस इज द जिमखाना ग्राउंड एस्पेशली वेन द टॉकेटिव मैन इज गोइंग टू बी रेफर्ड सो सच वॉज द सिचुएशन देन वॉट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज वेर गोइंग ऑन ऑन दिस जिम जिमखाना ग्राउंड और ऑन दिस लैंड ऑफ जिमखाना जिमखाना ग्राउंड सो हियर देर आर नंबर ऑफ एट्रैक्शंस वेर देयर people has to spend two annas this is a old currency we say two annas two annas means 12 paisas because in a modern time the um, uh, we can say the coin, coins are disappeared out of currency okay but you simply remember that one anna means six paisas two annas mean 12 paisas uh, four annas means 25 paisas Eight annas means fifty paisas, and a rupee means hundred hundred paisas. So this was the value. If you spend one anna annas, you have you can visit the different booths. It means at the enter when you enter in this gate. First of all, you have to take a ticket, and then after taking the ticket. you can enter in this uh, uh, gate land this this place is known as gate land gate means happy so this gate land you you have to give entrance fee and after entrance then there are number of shops and if you uh, can watch the or uh, participate in the different activities again you have to spend money and the narrator says after a week the collection on this entrance was more than 500 rupees per day now you see so uh, it is not the uh, value of 500 rupees nowadays is different and the value of 500 rupees in the days when there was ana and two ana and four ana we can say it is a huge amount and this huge amount indicates that number of people every day pro um, prospers the fortune of the owner of the gate land or the uh, showman here the um, there are different types of attractions were in the in these shops and what what are they there are some of the shops are related to fun make a fun okay so you can enjoy this fun after spending some annas there is also shops of gambling there are also shops of side shows the performances of parrots you might have seen such a type of uh, uh, types of performances just like the performance of uh, donkey even also okay so here you see in this gate land you see performance of the parrot so if you of uh, the performance of magic etc so different types of performances were there at the same time there was one one shop where the crack motorcyclist very interesting word rk narayan used the crack motorcyclist looping the loop 
in the doom of death and do, what is doom of death we call it mouth ka kua you might have seen in the uh, circus so they uh, they um, ride the bicycle or even sometime four wheelers and goes in the uh, doom of death vertically and horizontally and to, uh, here their balance is very important if they lose their ba balance they have to lose their life so it is known as the doom of death but the chief attraction of these people the people of uh, malguri in addition to all of these performances funs gambles and side show in addition to it the chief attraction of malguri people, people is the lotteries and shooting galleries now uh, and there you have a chance if you spend ana you can easily win uh, 100 rupees in the gambling even also okay so these are the names of shows forget it the main thing is that is uh, how it becomes this center becomes a center of pleasure for the people of malgudi now first the narrator describes the gaiti land and the performances uh, per, um, in the gaiti land the second thing he, here this point is over now i come to the last but one that is the fourth point the narrator whether he is lucky or unlucky winner of road engine and then the talkative man describes at one corner maybe this corner maybe this corner maybe this corner maybe this corner any corner but the talkative man says at one specific corner there was a lottery booth which was the cheap attraction of the crowd the people who visit this gaiti land and this is a lottery booth and i think the word lottery is known to you that you have to spend certain money and you have the chance to get uh, we can say different types of uh, prizes by spending spending only 8 anas again here 8 anas 8 anas means 50 paisas if you spend 50 paisas that means first of all you have to give 50 paisas to this ma man who runs this shop and you have to buy a ticket from him the ticket ha has got the counter file just you take the admission in the college you have the counter file uh, receipt is there that means the sa the same copy The, with the same number there are two copies one the college is kept for their record and uh, um, college record and the second half part half portion of that uh, voucher or of that receipt is for you people who, to, who take the admission in the college in the same way at the one co corner there was the chief attraction of the uh, of the crowd and it is no, known as the lottery booth first of all the ticket the cost of the ticket is given and it is uh, 50 paisas or 8 anas and if you take a ticket you, uh, the half portion of that ticket you will get uh, the half portion or half part of that ticket and half part uh, is for the um, owner uh, owner of the shop and uh, our narrator our talkative man he uh, purchased a ticket by spending 8 anas or 50 paisas and if you spend 50 paisas there is a um, we can say uh, you get the chance to win the different articles just like the uh, pin cushions or sewing machines or cameras or even road engine so different types of prizes were given there you might have seen uh, in the uh, in the festivals uh, such such a show 
and then they mixes all the tickets and makes a uh, make, uh, makes one out of that uh, pot we can say and it is known as lucky draw okay generally we use the word for it as the lucky lucky draw and on one evening because the show goes on for number of days they collect ha the owner of the shop he collects the half part of the ticket he put in a pot then he mixes okay and at one evening uh, the owner owner draw a lucky ticket and the uh, number of that lucky ticket was 1005 one not not five or 1005 and um uh, Uh, um, then the owner declares by checking the list, glancing down uh, the list. R K Narayan says, glancing down the uh, li list of articles, they declare that this number one zero zero five on the road engine means within spend uh, uh, with spending eight annas or fifty paisas. the um, man who own a road engine or we can say road roller might be new word for you but you heard this word road roller okay so he wins our talkative man our narrator our main hero our central character or our protagonist own a road engine so within 8 annas what a lottery he has got okay what a huge prize prize he has got he becomes the owner of road engine now and so he becomes very proud when he uh, when the uh, announcer declares that um, 1005 has own a um, road engine the narrator our talkative man sa is the uh, tickets and he says yes i have i have got the half part of this ticket and thus he becomes the owner owner of road engine now the people around him they were very surprised and they gathered uh, at him they started gazing at him what is gaze g a g d look constantly at him okay the the people gaze at him as if he were a curious animal not a human being because people were surprised everybody was astonished everybody get uh, curious to know that who belongs this who is this man uh, he has won the um, road engine what a lucky man he is like this so people naturally ga gathered around him and this is the tendency of the indian people okay it is reflected in this story uh, then uh, the main problem is for the writer stands stands here that in malgudi how the it was very difficult to carry this gift or prize at home and to take this road engine at home it was a challenge it was a problem because our talkative man our hero our protagonist belongs to middle class family he even doesn't have to ride a motor bike so how can he drive the road engine the problem is created for for him and because there is not a single man in malgudi who knows how to drive this road engine so uh, the problem his starts for the uh, narrator so naturally he goes to that showman and he requests that showman to help him to transport the road engine at his uh, at his home but the showman merely merely means only merely points uh, points towards a notice the notice declares because the rule on the notice there was a rule was written and what was that rule that the winners should remove the prizes immediately by their own efforts that means the showman says i can't help you man 
because now the road engine is of yours so you have to take yourself this road engine i can't help you in this matter but we can say the showman was very kind man and he says okay uh, our rule says you have to remove this gift you have to remove this uh, prize immediately but i will give you uh, some time so you can keep this road engine here uh, up to the end of the show up to the end of season or up to the end of this festival or fair he allowed him to put the road engine there and this is again the showman say this is the exception to your case i allowed you and naturally again uh, our talkative man says if you have a driver can can you help me i will pay for that driver just ask him to um, carry this road engine up to my home but the showman says i don't have because i carried this uh, road engine here and i paid him to uh, for 100 rupees for that job and 5 rupees per day so that fellow had taken lot of amount from me so i send him uh, to to his village again our narrator talkative man ask so uh, can i sell it this to municipality of margudi and the showman burst into laugh he started laughing very loudly and he says already i am annoyed this i am troubled i am annoyed this municipality people so i don't want to pa uh, participate in your activity i don't want to help you so you have to take it uh, by hook or by crook okay i am responsible up to the end of this season up to the end of this fair then uh, you are responsible for it and here the problem starts actually why our narrator goes and buys a, a ticket of lottery because he belongs to middle class and he want to become a rich person and uh, so that his problems should be solved but rk narayan says his problems are not going to be solved but his problems are going to start at this point and here the fourth part of this story ends the next part is the road engine becomes a bone in the throat of narrator gale ki haddi ban gayi uski okay so uh, the uh, when the narrator uh, or the protagonist wins the road roller or the road engine all his friends and well wishers uh, comes at him they congratulate him that you are going to be uh, a rich person now and uh, narrator says how can i become rich some of his friends says if you sell it in the scrap iron you would become a rich fellow okay so uh, the narrator also feels very proud of uh, it he is hopeful of life and so uh, he uh, he uh, he is proud that he belongs he becomes the owner of this uh, road engine and so he pays a regular visit that means he regularly goes at the gymkhana ground and watch very carefully this road engine who is now his his property he loves the shining part of the road engine he used to stand near that machine near that road engine and he pats it very affectionately what is affectionately lovingly he pats that road engine affectionately or love lovely and the then very soon the performances were going, going to be end the festival is going to be end and one day the festival time 
becomes over means the showman the festival is over that is why the showman packed up his bags and baggages they closed their tents and they become depart from the uh, um, this gymkhana ground now at the time of ground rk narayan said the the ground litters with the decorative lamps light, lights flags banners but when the show is over when the show is end now the um, uh, this gymkhana ground litters with the uh, uh, we can say litters with the torn steamers and papers and uh, decorations and uh, then uh, whether the writer is or the narrative man is get read of this road engine or not let us have to study it in the second part of this uh, video so uh, thanks to spare time with me we will watch the next part in the uh, in the next video thank you very much